Hi everybody. So I just did the thing I always knew that I would do someday, which was record an entire video without the microphone turned on. Anyway, so let's try this again. So I've got the amplifier board. Um, that's this little guy right here. Only about an inch by a half an inch square. It's got um, a constant current boost converter. Um, it's designed for driving LEDs. Oops, that's been plugged in this whole time. Probably really hot. Um, anyway, and then it's got two MMIC amplifiers. So, um, the short version is it doesn't work very well. I tried to have a conversation with a ham down the street and he couldn't hear me. So, I borrowed the spectrum analyzer from work and have been making some measurements on it. Um, right now I've got it going through this, but the uh, attenuator, which I've more or less finished repairing finally. Um, right now it's all switched off. I just have it in here so I can protect the spectrum analyzer. But the signal's so low that it doesn't really seem to be necessary. Okay, so the yellow trace is what's currently coming out of the PSDR, and the purple trace is some some stuff we saved from the last time I took the video. So let's clear that and start it back over. Okay, so now this is max hold, which just means it'll it'll save any peaks that occur. All right, and so here we go. So what I'm gonna be doing here is by touching the back of the capacitive sensor, I put the PSDR into transmit mode, and I didn't really design the boost converter right, and so I'm going to be injecting the right power from the power supply. So, put it in transmit, took the power supply up, and there we go. So you can see that it's, there's a lot of energy spread all over the place. Um, I can go ahead and zoom in on that. Just for fun, what it looks like if the PSDR switches out of transmit, but you leave the amplifier connected, looks like that. So we still have some peaks and stuff. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. So we'll go to, so just now we were looking at um, 0 to 1.5 gigahertz. Now we're looking at 0 to 500 megahertz. So again, key it up, touch the transmitter. So again, you can see there's a lot of, there's a lot of harmonic energy there. Um, if we zoom in further, it'll be more obvious. Okay. Now it's 0 to 30 megahertz. The purple line's becoming a little useless. Okay, so here we go. This right here is what I'm trying to send, and everything else is harmonics. And you can see that they are, in some cases, as strong as what I'm actually transmitting. When I modulate it by making noise next to the microphone, it does seem like the primary peak... Ooh, that was weird. Oh, that was just me letting go of the transmit key. Um, anyway, it's pretty ugly. So, I'm thinking that the reason that my neighbor couldn't hear me is because the amplifier is trying to amplify all the harmonics at once, and so very little energy gets focused into the real signal. Um, so if I put some filtering in between the two and limit it, for example, if I was to put a low-pass filter that cut off right here, then this would be the only thing that would reach the amplifier and more power would go out. Um, I'm not even positive that's how amplifiers work. So if someone wants to correct me on that, maybe that's a flawed, uh, some flawed logic, I'm not sure. Um, one other thing while we're in here is we can make measurements of what our actual power outage output is. Um, so right now the noise floor is at about 65 dBm. So just keying gets us up to about negative 40 dBm, and if I make a lot of noise, I think the peaks are somewhere in the, um, well, got a high peak there. It looked like that was in about the 20 to 30 dBm, that is negative 20 to 30. Um, so still, still pretty weak. I forget what that works out to in milliwatts, but it's not a lot. I think it's 100... 100 milliwatts is 20, positive 20 dBm, so we're like 40 dBm short, 40 dB short. Anyway, 
Um, so that's that. Oh, the other thing is when I first took this up the other night, I got a little bit of magic smoke out of it. So, and it seemed pretty hot. So I borrowed this so I could get an idea of where the, uh, the heat issues are. Cool toy. All right, so there you can see that's the amplifier board. It's pretty hot. Um, it's probably already kind of... So the PCB will spread the heat out, so the easiest way to see what you want is to let it cool down and then heat it back up real fast. So here I'm going to hook the amplifier back up and we'll see what happens. Okay, so you can kind of see that the upper right hand corner is the hottest. And how hot is it? 65 degrees C, 70. Anyway, I'm not sure why why it's only one of the amplifiers that's getting hot. Maybe I burned out the other one already. Um, I bought enough parts to build two, so I may build another one and try it again. But for now, this is where it's at. So anyway, not a whole lot of love on the transmit. Um, the other news is the um, the aluminum case is done and it looks awesome but I'm going to save that for another post okay, see you guys soon